A Rothra can, a crossout video by Dangerously Incompetent. This is how far I've got with my Rothron build, and my design philosophy was that the Rothron's got a very narrow range at which it's effective at. Well, it's got a small range where it does damage, and it's got an even smaller range where it does effective damage. And so I was thinking, how can I all oh, stay away from those lances? How can I get the enemy at the range I want them to be at? and keep them there while I shoot them. Well, the answer is obvious, you get a cap can. And then you put on, you run around on the small tracks because they're fast, so you can get out of trouble. And you can go backwards as fast as you're going forwards with the small tracks. So that's my thinking. Oh, hello, you're almost ideal distance. Oh no, he's closing with me. I shall run away backwards. And now he's cap canned. <laughs> and now he's at perfect range to murderize. Oh, excellent. Ideal. Just what I was looking for. Do you know how many battles it took me to get before I got that on video? Loads. Absolutely loads. You wouldn't believe the number of enemies who, in that situation, just plain refuse to chase me and run onto my cap can. So frustrating. Right, what can we do now? Ooh, let's zoom round the back and drop a cap can behind him. Haha, <laughs> uh, that'll get him stuffed so my allies can shoot him or I can shoot him, but I that's way too close. I don't want to be that close. I just don't do the damage at that range. I've been having fun with this build, but it's mainly because I've got a cap can and I've been zooming around at high speed. Oh, that was the wrong place to be. I thought they were engaged somewhere else. Uh, move forward. Uh, oh, I've lost my cap cam. Drat. Yeah, so what was I saying? Oh, yeah. I've been having fun and I've been getting wins, but I haven't been doing a lot of damage and getting high scores. So it's a good job this game rewards you with more resources when your team wins. Whether you do badly or, or really well, it, you get more resources than if you lose and do awesomely well like this boom <laughs> so yeah the Rothrons can kick out the damage now and again once you got the enemy at the right range yeah so this isn't a representative battle you know it's a win which is representative but I do a load of damage which isn't representative so if you're looking for reputation this build isn't for you if you're looking for resources this can ha this is this is a good build well it's an okay build it's fun build anyway. It's fun so you play more and you get more resources. Yeah. Uh, why am I not getting so much damage? Well, partly it's the Rothrons. Oh, here's the other problem with the Rothrons. The Rothrons are heavy and you usually mount them you know, quite high up. So that makes you a bit top heavy. And if you combine that with zooming around really fast and then not having the turning circle you're used to, yeah, I seem to, I end up using the landscape as a ramp to flip me over quite a lot. Oh, that's too close. Oh, oh, can I push this guy on the side? No. Oh, I can lift him though. Ha <laughs> ha. And rip off his his goblins. Ha, <laughs> take that shotgun user. Ha ha ha. Oh, can I do the same with that? Oh, a good thing about the uh, small tracks, which you can see here, is the resilience. You can lose one and you can still zoom around quite happily. Okay, occasionally you just spin, but most of the time you can drive around Hardly impaired at all. And here's going backwards at no reduce at the same speed I can go forward, so I get away from that self-destructor and see that's another problem. Did I do any damage there? No, I thought I was a good range then. Blam. No, he's just out of range, no damage. Oh but, but it's a win. Hooray. As you can see, some points and a win. And like I said, it's this battle not representative of the build. I did too I did more damage than I usually do. And, and hence got a higher score and an MVP, which is a bit unusual. That's it for this video. Don't for, don't forget to follow me on Twitch for my not daily, but short term how I made coin in Cross Out Today videos. Well, streams, which I then highlight into videos, so you can watch them at any time. In fact, you should probably watch the highlights rather than me live, because my upload bandwidth is rubbish. See ya!